Hi friends, it's Carrie Ann Salty and Bright, and today I have an esteemed guest with me. I have Claudia Box, and Claudia is the wife and mom of two, and she is a child of God. She adores her family, nature, and absolutely loves seafood. And I'm sure some of us can relate to that. I'm a shrimp lover myself. <laughs> Above all, she believes that a relationship with God is more important than anything else. For so many years, she struggled to have a consistent prayer life. And because of that, she created a guided prayer journal to help build a simple daily routine. Welcome, Claudia. Thank you. Thanks, Carrie Ann. I, I'm just so happy to have you here with us and to talk about prayer journals. And you will find the prayer journal on the Church of Box website, which is churchofbox.com. So as we get into this, Claudia, can you tell me more about you and what led to the Church of Box? Yes. So Treasure Box, the name itself, I'll say is probably 13 years old, 13 years old. So um, the story came from when I was pregnant with my daughter. I didn't know what to name her. You know, that whole situation where you're like, okay, it's a girl. What are we going to name her? You know. Yes. So in my family, everyone's name pretty much starts with C. Yes. <laughs> the tradition. So my last name is Box. And my uncle made a joke and he's like, call her Treasure. Oh. And I'm like, Treasure starts with a T. And he's like, no, you can start it with C. Yes, you can. <laughs> it was so unique and I loved it. But the only thing I'm like, oh, they're going to make fun of her in school. Treasure Box, Treasure Box. <laughs> so... As much as I love the name, um, we ended up naming her Kaylin. Oh. I love Kaylin. But uh, Treasure stuck with me. Like yes. from that day, it was, I, could, I guess you can say Treasure Box was birthed that day. And it just stuck with me for so many years. And so after a while, you know, there were different things where it's like, okay, I'm getting into this. Um, you know, maybe I can name this Treasure Box or, you know, it just always stuck with me. But I'm like, what am I, what? Whatever business, whatever outreach, whatever it is that I'm doing, I want to make sure that I know that I'm being led by God, that this is yes. my purpose, this is what I'm supposed to do, and the name has to go there. You know, so there were a lot of things that I tried throughout the years, but when I knew, like, okay, this is it, it's like, okay, this is this, this is this is my baby's name. Like, this is, you know, so that that's where Treasure Box really started. That's where the name came from. And the business itself. Mm -hmm. We do prayer journals, and there's also an outreach attached. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that is a beautiful name. I Thank When you. I saw Treasure Box, I'm like, wow, that is ingenious. <laughs> because, you know, where our treasure is, there our heart will be also. So it's very important for us to understand where our treasure lies. And you found this name with the birth of your daughter. So I think that was really, really cool <laughs> yes. where the treasure is yeah so now you're able to to launch your business with the treasure box the fact that you are encouraging folks to pray or through your prayer journals prayer is our conversation with god yeah. and prayer is our fellowship with god and that is also a treasure that is a treasure that we can store up in heaven as we build a closer relationship with God. So I love the concept. I love the name. I love the, the whole um, prayer journal concept. I think it is beautiful. So could you tell us more about your walk, you know, how you found Christ? How I found Christ. So I actually pretty much grew up in the church. I was all, I, ever since I was a child, I just always remember being in church. Yes. Different kinds of churches over the years. But I was always in church. <laughs> and so for as far as praying, though, specifically, I feel like a lot of times, especially, I guess I can speak for me, like growing mm -hmm. up in church, you feel like your prayers have to sometimes be like a specific way. 
you know, yeah. like we learn the kitty prayers and then you pray that kitty prayer for you know, <laughs> yes. years, and then you kind of get out of the kitty prayer era and then you start, you know, praying real prayers. And then after a while, you know, getting into adulthood, just getting into different things in life, transitioning from like teenager to young adult, like, you know, all those changes in life, your prayers begin to change. And I know for myself, there was a point in time where I kind of felt like I was just kind of like just praying the same thing all the time. Yes. Kind of just feel like, you know, I'm not praying this way. Like, you know, you'll pray with a friend or, you know, at church and like people have these big words and all that, you know, it's just kind of like you're stuck in the middle of, okay, do I pray this way? Do I pray that way? I know for me, I just felt like I was praying the same thing all the time. And Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's just kind of being, sometimes there were times where I didn't pray at all. Yeah. About anybody else, but I've had yeah. those moments where it's like, whoa, I haven't even prayed in days, or you know, my prayer was five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what I mean, just like those moments. And I read a book called Powerful Prayers in the War Room with a couple yes. of friends. Yes, and there was an outline of pray. Yes, S for praise, R for repent, A for ask, and Y for yield. And when I read that book, it really like blew my mind because for me, you know, it went into depth of, you know, the different acronyms. But for me, I'm like, wow, like this really gave me a structure. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, you know, they talk about don't go to God like he's a genie. We'll just go sometimes. We just ask and we want, we want, we want. <laughs> and so that really helped me. Like you go into the presence of God and praise him. Yeah. You know, him thanks and praise. Just like. There's so many things. There's so many things that we didn't even know that he protected us from. Yes. So we just, yes. We just yes. go in. There's so many things to always get praise. Mm-hmm. And, you know, repenting and, I mean, day after day, like, that, that's something that should be in our daily prayer routine. It's just to repeat. You know, sometimes our mind goes off in certain ways, how, whatever that looks like for anybody. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so... That really helped structure prayer for me. And I had started using that. And I just feel like, you know, that really helped me. That helped other people. And so that's what really uh, birthed the journal. Yes. I'm like, what about the people who were maybe like me in church on their life? And then just kind of some days you're not praying. Or, you know, you feel like prayers aren't strong enough. And you feel like maybe... You know, I mean, I don't think there's a right or wrong way to pray. God's going to hear us. But sometimes you're too distracted. That was the other thing. I found myself distracted a lot. You start praying and then you're just distracted. Your mind is just left. And, you know, just having a way to structure it really helped. And so, you know, for the people who were like me or what about the people who never prayed before? Yeah. How can they maybe, you know, look at this like an ABC to start with prayer? So that's where that really came from. That's how, you know, just... Being a part of a Christian family and always knowing like prayer is very important. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. It it is it's fellowshipping with God. And not only are we talking to him, but we're also listening. So I believe that you do have scripture in your journals. Yes. As Along well. with scripture, there are um praying the scriptures. So mm-hmm. in the journals we have a praise edition and a peace edition. So there's scriptures for praise and that one, there's scriptures for peace. Um, and then, you know, as I touched on the structure a little bit, praise, there's praise and, and thankfulness. So yes. you kind of just fill in the blank, you know, I start it off and then you just finish it. Yes. And then um, for repent, there's also forgive. Yes. Sometimes it's important to, to lay it all, Lord, I forgive. This person, that person, like, you know, because we'll hold it all in and then go to God and be like, hey, can you do this for me? It's like, well, what about all those people you need to forget? I I just start there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Forgiveness as a part of the repenting part. Yes. Um, and it literally says, Lord, I forgive. Dot, dot, dot. Yes. And then you just go ahead and fill those names oh, in. No. And, and sometimes the person we're forgiving is ourselves. Sometimes we disappoint ourselves with something that we said or something that right. we did. And- Sometimes yeah. we have to write our own names after those thoughts. Yeah, yeah. we'll hold a lot of guilt and shame. And it's like, God, just for, you know, I, I got to forgive myself, let things go. And you're right about that. And then ask, uh, you know, we have not because we ask not. <laughs> right? <Amen>. So, 
there and then yield. Like you said, you know, we have to, we, it's a fellowship with God. So we're not just going to him, you know, just to talk all the time. We have to listen as well. And so, you know, the why for yield in, in my journal specifically says I surrender and, you know, surrender slash yield. And there's a little prayer that goes there, but it's just kind of a, a start of, you know, what to say and then kind of just lay it all out there for you. I surrender all my family, my finances, my health, just everything. Yeah. You know, just starting those conversations, how to do that with God. That is beautiful. I believe that once you start doing it and because I believe it's 30 days, the more you remain consistent with that, by the end of 30 days, you've already started a habit and so you can continue and then continue to grow on that. So I I do believe the timeline or the time frame is, is really good in building that prayer habit to keep the person going after they're done with their, their journey (laughs) through the the treasure box. You know, you mentioned that you have one for, for praise. So it's praise slash Thanksgiving. And, you know, in, in our society today, we do have a lot of people that suffer from oppression and the Bible talks about a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And so going through that journal for 30 days, praising and thanking God will help lift some depression that some folks may have because you are adorning yourself with the with the garment of praise while you're praying and you're praising and you're praying praises. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> And then the other one for peace, I, I believe, would cover the anxiety side of it. So because we're supposed to think about everything for good and true and honest and lovely, and and that will give us the peace. So yes, they're very timely in in building that routine, but also it will be addressing people's needs. That's important too. And did you have another one coming up? I do. I have faith. Ah. I have faith coming up. So that one will be praying the scriptures on faith and just strengthening our faith. Like you said, you know, people are dealing with a lot of things. And I love how you put the garment of praise because that's what I had in mind with peace. Uh, the journals got released after COVID. So I realized during mm-hmm. that time, you know, depression, anxiety, stress, all of these things that we deal with either from time to time or people are dealing with on a daily basis. I, it didn't really hit me in a way until after COVID because during COVID there was a lot of fear. Yes. And I remember I'm like, man, just the word of God alone, you know, gives us the strength to endure everything that was going on at that time. And you know, I remember when uh, our church doors opened, right when they were like, all right, you know, if we were all in there. <laughs> and like, <laughs> some would mess, some would out. But I'm just like, wow, you know, our our place of worship, like they, we, there was just no fear. It was just like, yes, get us in there. And I thought about that. I'm like, man, but what about the people who are still in lockdown? And even yes. though they're more locked down because of the fear. And I'm just like, we. I really need to get this out there in regards to peace so that people can see. Even though I was raised in church, I really didn't even know that there were so many things in the Bible. I've known all the stories. I've read all the Psalms and Proverbs. You know what I mean? But yes. even Goliath and, you know, Jonah and the way, like we know all these things and we've heard the preacher preach. But until you start opening your Bible for yourself <laughs> and you start to see that there are things that address everything. And I'm going to take all these scriptures on peace. I'm going to take all these scriptures on praise. And, you know, with the with faith coming out, like, I'm going to take all these scriptures on faith. And that way we can just start to put on our armor, our spiritual armor. Yes. Start. Yeah, just speaking these scriptures over our lives, into our lives, and plant our feet firm on God's word. And it just yes. connects the word of God and prayer and communication with God. It's a daily thing. I really feel like we need it. I feel like the church really needs it. We can stand firm and and live, you know, a life of praise, a life of peace, so that people on the outside looking in can say, hey, what, you know, that girl over there, what does she have? Because I want that. Just authentically start just bringing in people to Christ and People feel hopeless and lost and depressed and just don't know where to start. You can start here. Amen. (laughs) I'm very excited about the the one coming out on faith because without faith, it is impossible to please God. In building a relationship with somebody, you kind of want to know what they like. You can so you can please them, right? And if you know it's impossible to please God without faith, it's good to know that you're building your faith and you're going through the scriptures on faith. So that 
we can begin to walk in faith and be pleasing to God. The word of God is, is quick. Not that it's fast or it's like the same bolt switch, right. but it is living. It's, been right. it's living. And so it's able to transform our very beings. I appreciate that you're, the use of the word of God so that it can waken up somebody, they can awaken their spirit, they can address those deep down issues there. And hopefully through the experience of the prayer journal, that people will not only have that closer walk with God, but truly have the faith through their yes. experience. Yes, they can move mountains. Yes, that's that's my big thing. It's like, God, your word said, if I tell the mountain to move, it will move. So I need you to do this for me. Yes. That's a faith. Yes, yes, I'm excited about that addition. I'm very excited about it as well. So you told us about, you know, you grew up in church and you told us about how we got the name Church of Box and, and you told us about the journals. And I, I do believe that they're interested. I believe there's a lot of value there. I believe that people can start building their prayer life. A lot of times it's like, how do you know you're growing? If you don't have a prayer life, you're not growing. Right. And if you're not growing, then you're dying. So you want to make sure that you are watering the roots of prayer through this prayer journal so that you can continue to grow your walk in Christ because it, it is really important. That relationship with God is the most important relationship to have because out of it, you will have good relationships with everybody else because right. the two main commandments, love God and then love others. If we don't love God, is going to be next to difficult to truly, genuinely love others. Yeah. This this is great. I'm very excited about this. And I'm, I'm really hoping that folks will take the opportunity to get on this journal, especially if they know, look, I don't pray or I pray once a week when I go to church or, you know, it's been weeks since I've prayed because I don't know how. I, I don't want to bother God. I, you know, whatever. Yeah. The apprehension is, I'm hoping that through this journal, it will help guide them to really have that walk, that conversation with God to the point where they're confident because we're to boldly come to the throne of grace to receive mercy. We're hoping that after a while of going through the journal, then they will have that confidence to boldly go to God and really say, hey, this is how I feel. Because some people feel like they can't really talk to God because he's going to be angry. He's just this angry person. But he's not, that's not the God we serve. That's he right. is not afraid of what we might say. He, right. he encourages us to come to him and to talk to him. He encourages us to seek him. He says that we will seek him and find him when we search for him with our whole heart. And yep. part of searching for God with our whole heart is talking to him. <laughs> and we yes. talk to him through prayer. Yes. I also have a page for fasting in the book. Uh -huh. When I first did the journals, I, you know, I put it in there because, you know, that's uh, the, the scripture says not if you fast, but when, <laughs> when you fast. Right. So that's a very important part of our walk. And I remember mm -hmm. I sent to a friend and I'm like, hey, can you, you know, look this journal over for me, please? Let me know. Does it make sense? Does it, you know, when you first do something, you just need somebody to tell you, yes, this is fine. You, it's okay. And she's like, how about you put what fasting is? Mm -hmm. What about people who don't know why you fast? And yes. so the first thing on that page is what is fasting? And it gives just a, you know, a little breakdown of it so that in case someone never fasted before, someone could have been a Christian forever and never tried it. So I put, you know, what is fasting? And then I have scriptures on fasting. So there's some scriptures there. There's a prayer in there. And I have like a little box that says, what am I fasting for? Mm -hmm. So I know some people may fast once a month. They may fast weekly. They may mm -hmm. fast three days for the month, five days. So in that little box, I have, what am I fasting for? And you can just write what you're fasting for. And there's a little checkbox because sometimes when we fast and we need God to move, he does it right away. And sometimes it could be, down the road. So I just want to put a little check box. And it's like, yes, mm -hmm. I know God, you're going to do it. When? I don't know. But I'm going to check it off. Faith. Like, faith. It's yes. done. 
That's right. And so I did want to say, you know, in each journal, there is also a page um, for fasting. Oh, that is beautiful. And now that you mentioned the fasting, I was curious about outreach. So what outreach programs do you guys do? Um, so the outreach part of it is period poverty. I heard about period poverty. I didn't hear about period poverty in the way that I'm saying it. I didn't realize there was a name for this until I started to do my research, but I was just driving one day and I heard, was listening to the radio. I don't remember who it was, but they were talking about women who right here in America, but this is like, I'm not even talking about foreign countries, but right yeah. here in America, and I'm not even talking about women in poverty. These are women who are working mothers and yeah. well, working women doesn't have to be mothers, but I, it just automatically translated as mom to me because I'm a mom, you know, you hear things from <laughs> different, different aspects based on, you know, what your life is like, but this is regular working women who can't afford pads, literally just cannot afford pads. Sometimes yeah. it's, do I buy this meal for my kids over getting pads today? Yeah. And I heard that I'm just like, you know, it hit me in a way because that's not even something you think about on a daily yeah. Because you yeah. go to the store and you buy it because you know you're going to need it. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, you know, the fact that there are women out there who are struggling to afford feminine products. It really yeah. struck me and it's changed my thought process. And I'm like, I got to do something about this. What can, what can I do? And it sat with me for so many years. And I that was part of the thing that I knew. This is going to be on Treasure Rock. And so my outreach is just trying to figure out who I can partner with to mm -hmm. help women in need. Yeah. I was able to partner with a charity uh, a couple of months ago, and she partners with another charity out in uh, Valdosta. Okay. And there are some women who are local as well. It's like a little package. So you have a week's worth of pads and there are wipes in there. And it's just this cute little um, package that I put together to just get out there. I've done two sets of 50. So I've done 100 so far, but in different places. Uh, and I have received some donations. So the minute I get it, I just buy up supplies and send it out. And I always text pictures to the people who donated so that they can see exactly, you know, what I've done with the money. And I'm just hoping that I will be able to grow in that community and just, you know, be able to... I don't care about my name being out there. I don't care about anything like that. I just really want to be able to know that what God put on my heart, I'm doing. Yes. That is, that is so important to me as well. <laughs> Everything that he's put in me, I want to pour out before I leave this earth. That's right. So if somebody wanted to partner with you today on period poverty, how would they go about doing that? To partner with me, my email is on my website. So they can always send a message to Gmo with their information and then I can get in contact with them. And then for donations, it's also on Treasure Box. Right at the bottom, there's a section for outreach and you can just donate, put your name in, your email, and um, however much the person would like to donate. And with their contact information, I always send a picture out once I'm able to buy the supplies. I get it right away. The minute I see something coming, I'm like, oh, buy it. <laughs> and then once I'm able to send it out, where whatever direction is going to go, then I also put that in as well. So they know like, hey, you know, thank you for the donation. And this is where it went. Nice. You know, I was able to send it out too. So that is wonderful. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you so very much. This has been a lot of fun and it is so important for us to get our prayer life going if we don't pray or if we don't pray as often as, as we think we should because the, the more we pray, the, that is us drawing close to God and, and he'll draw close to us. And I aspire to get to that point where I can hear him as clearly as I'm hearing you right now. He's yes. always talking. I don't think my frequency, yes. I may be on AM and he's on FM, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it feels sometimes. <laughs> oh my God. I love to get to where, you know, we're both on one of them and I'm tuned into his station where, because he's yes. always talking. I, I want to be able to, to definitely hear him. And part of tuning the radio of your soul <laughs> is prayer. So that is the yes. prayer. 
and also fasting because you put your flesh under submission so that you That's your spirit right. can hear clearly so yeah wonderful i really do appreciate the the treasure box and and what you guys are doing and even the outreach you know reaching out to to women in that manner I, all of it is important i completely get it with that being said anything else you'd like to say before we go i don't think so um no, i don't think have anything else to add i just want to say thank you thank you for allowing me to you know speak on your platform i really appreciate it it. All right. So guys, you heard it. It's treasurebox.com. You'll have the link in the description. Go ahead, check out the prayer journals and get to praying, get to talking to God, get to connecting <laughs> with our Abba Father. Thanks, friends. Thank you. Bye. Bye.